10 News has learned the artificial reef off of Mission Beach is actually getting bigger. Five divers had died at the site. And 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina shows what's being done to make the expansion safer. It's one of the lures of scuba diving to explore not just nature underwater, but something like the Yukon, a retired Canadian Navy ship sunken 13 years off San Diego's coast. At the end of the month, these worn out submarine separators will be taken out to sea and dumped near the Yukon to be part of the divers recreation area that's being developed on the ocean floor. If you look down, you can see some of the fish that are already have turned them into a habitat. And there are efforts by the California Ships to Reef Organization to bring another old Canadian ship to San Diego. Called the Annapolis that has currently been seized up in British Columbia by the court system there and we're hoping to get that vessel and sink it with the Yukon out here to create a much larger park. There have been five deaths associated with diving near the Yukon so safety is an obvious concern. The Annapolis has already been the object of a makeover. So we will go through and remove anything hanging off the walls that might hook onto divers' air supply or entangle them. As with the Yukon before it, hatches and doors will be dismantled, passageways widened, exit holes created. You have a, a way to escape. Now that's the wreckage of a ship. As for the sub-separators... They're 12 foot wide, 15, approximately 15 to 20 foot high, and 60 feet long. So when they go down, we expect they'll land on their side and just become a, a, an external habitat. Eventually, the San Diego Underwater Recreation Area could feature six sunken ships and other attractions. Steve Fiorina, 10 News. The sub-separators will be transported on July 27th. The Annapolis deal is still being negotiated.